We have reached the last section of our configuration review. Just a few more steps and we can finally start examining how things actually work in practice. In this short lesson, we will discuss what steps are needed to activate actual costing functionality. Let's use the IMG menu to navigate to the actual costing activation config screen. When we scroll down, we can see that actual costing has been activated for our plant. You can see that the value 2 has been maintained here. This value 2 means that revaluation of activity rates is done at a material level and not on production or process order level. Before we move further, let's have a quick recap of how activity costs are managed during period end closing. As you know, when activity costs are posted during the manufacturing process, the planned costs are used as the actual activity costs are not known until a period is finished. No matter how carefully a company tries to plan their costs, there will always be some variance between planned and actual activity costs. This difference will cause either under or over absorption in a manufacturing cost center. This under or over absorption will be cleared when production orders are revaluated at the end of a period using actual activity costs. But when we are using actual costing, things will be a little bit different. We will not be revaluating individual production orders. The clearing of under or over absorption is done at a material level when material ledger is closed during the period end closing process. This period end process is something that we will be discussing in detail later, and I promise that it will become very clear to you when we are actually closing material ledger in chapter four of this course. The next configuration screen on the menu would allow us to define the controlling levels used in the material ledger. A controlling level determines the level at which posting can be examined in the material ledger. The default level proposed by the system is plant material level. This level is enough for me, so I won't be making any changes here. The next step is to activate the actual cost component split for our evaluation area. I go one step back and select this configuration screen. As you can see, cost component split has been activated. The system will be using the same cost component structure that has been defined in transaction OKTZ. OK Next, we need to activate work in progress at actual costs. I move one step back and select this config screen. As you can see, WIP has been activated for our plant. This activation is required if we want to reevaluate WIP at actual cost during the period closing. This period here is the first period when WIP calculation at actual cost should be active. We have now finally finished reviewing all the necessary configuration steps. After you have been maintaining all this configuration, the last thing you need to do is to set your valuation areas as productive. Let's open up transaction CKMSTART. Here you just need to enter your plant number and then select the exchange rate type you want to use, which is most probably the standard type, M. It's important to remember that after this step has been performed, no changes to the currencies, currency types, or material ledger types are allowed. So, you are not able to make changes to these settings anymore for the valuation areas you are about to set as productive. SAP has also issued many warnings that material ledger should never be deactivated once it has been set as productive in production environment, as this can cause several issues with material valuations. I want to thank you very much for your patience so far. I know that just looking at the configuration screens is boring, but I promise to you that the next chapter will be more fun when we can actually see the functionality of these configuration settings in practice. Material ledger and actual costing are also closely connected with profitability analysis. To utilize actual costing for profitability analysis, you need to configure material ledger to revalue the cost of sales using actual costs. 
In this course, we won't be discussing material ledger configuration related to profitability analysis as we have another course dedicated for profitability analysis. In the next chapter, we will start our example costing scenario and you can finally see material ledger in action. See you in the next chapter.